Good morning everyone, it's Richard at Seek Training. I hope you're all having a nice day. We're going to bring up the main scene. And <coughs> happy Monday morning, half past nine. It's camp workouts, so you know what that means. So, how are you today? It's, as of recording this, uh, the rain's coming down, particularly in my living room. Uh, so <laughs> Uh, temperatures are a little bit low, so that's not so bad. So, first off, I'll get the uh, usual out of the way. So, if you haven't uh, see, got the permission for a doctor, you can come and talk to me or go and see a doctor, uh, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, also, if you want to fill out a, a health questionnaire, Park you. It's actually pinned at the top of my Facebook page or below uh, this video on YouTube or my website. You'll find it as a link. Fill that out, send it to me via messenger or uh, email or even, even text it. And we can discuss it and then we'll get things going that way. So, how is everyone today? I hope you're having fun. Well, I hope we're going to have fun. I'm a little bit sniffling at the moment and my goodness the wind is driving like nobody's business at the moment goodness I think something just went flying past the house <laughs> anyway right <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days I'm sure of it right so uh, the talk today is basically uh, water and you good morning glad you could uh, come so Water and you. Basically, we are big bags of water. As, as uh, one Star Trek episode that you, uh, normally said, it was basically we are uh, mostly bags of water. That's it. We are 80% water. The rest of us is minerals, all held together by sheer will. So, we do need water to survive, otherwise, you become dehydrated and you die very quickly. Uh, most Professional state, state, state that you need two liters a day, three if you're active. It all depends on basically your activity levels, uh, hydration levels, and age. The more you, uh, the older you get, you do need to look at your hydration more. It keeps your skin more supple and elasticated. The little uh, mitochondria, which make up the body, uh, they need lots of water. Okay, they're 80% they're water as well. Now, what could you drink to satiate your water needs? Well, obviously there's water. Any type of liquid drink, but what I would discount is, this is not product uh, placement, but any kind of sugary drink or even, or even the diet stuff. The diet stuff is actually worse for you than the sugar. Okay, the reason why that is, is because all these, they're all artificial sweeteners. Works in your brain slightly differently. And also works in your body differently as well. Makes you actually want more sugar because it's expecting energy. So that makes you more hungry, so be careful. Also, it dehydrates you, it makes you, it's the, it's the fake sugar which makes you thirstier. That's why they do drinks like that. When you have one, you want more. Alcohol's the same. I wouldn't count that as part of your uh, water intake. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So, so we panicked as we couldn't find your board, so started uh, started a repeat class. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, let's hope that's uh, hope you found me now. <laughs> it's one of the technical technical things which basically has been going right all weekend. So again, with the water, yes, uh, alcohol and fizzy drinks. I wouldn't use that as your uh, allotment for water during the day. Now, I've touched on this briefly. How do you know if you're dehydrated? If you are thirsty, you are dehydrated already. Okay. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the biggest sign. So you need to try and stop yourself from becoming thirsty. So little sits and often, always the best way of doing it. Uh, hunger, 
if you get hungry, have a drink first. You might because you're thirsty. Once it gets past that, you get to thirst. That's different. Now, some people think dry mouth is thirst. I've had coffee just before doing this to give me a bit of energy. But it dries out your tongue. It doesn't make you thirsty, it just dries your mouth out, okay? So there's a difference between thirst and dry mouth, in my, in my humble opinion, anyway. The next one is, uh, the main one which people will say, especially uh, doctors, is what colour is your wee? If it's nice and clear, then you're not dehydrated. If it's got, if it, the more yellowy or browner it is, the more uh, you are actually dehydrated because it's actually pulling out quite a lot of the nutrients. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, clear wee, I know it's a lot harder for ladies to actually find out than men. So try your best. Right, that's the talk. Okay, let's, let's get everything going then. Excellent, we've got people joining later on, so that's not so bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our session now, usual one, and I'm gonna stop rabbiting on. Well, I never stop rabbiting on, but I'll rabbit on in this section. Let's get the warm-up done. Beforehand, dumbbells, mat, self, water. Actually, another good thing actually on the water thing, whilst we're actually uh, marching on the spot, let's, let's start, shall we? One great thing, for water satiation, for getting your liquid levels up, is fruit. Fruit is very high, especially watermelon. I know a lot of people say watermelon is very bad for glycemic index, but it's quite high. But if you are thirsty, watermelon or melon, apples, pears, they're all good for satiation of that first. Right, let's get going then. High knees. Hope this weather doesn't keep on going because the bucket's almost full in the living room. Wide legs. Excellent. So, how was your weekend? All right, I hope. I'm getting confused now with all the lockdown rules that we're allowed and not allowed to do. So <laughs> if anyone's got any ideas, please tell me, because I have no idea now. Right, let's go touching those knees. Get a bit of rotation in. Yes, I have started recording this, that's not so bad. I haven't missed a recording yet, so there's going to come a time where there will. My god, there's something is really, really clanging outside. Oh, something will be up sm uh, smashing down the road at five o'clock. Nice. Right, let's punch, push forward. A little bit of rotation as well, try and get those shoulders working and your chest, so really bring that hand back to the chest. That's it, good. Now let's go up to reach overs. I had to think of the word then. So just imagine lockdown, if all that sunny weather we, we had was like this, it would have been worse, wouldn't it? So I think we have the better end of the stick that way, personally. But we are in British summer, so that means it's wet, wet, wet. Not the band, even though they're good. That's it, keep it going. Get that heart rate up. Let's do some bum kicks. Put a little bit of a bounce in there. Get those thighs stretched. Ah, 
Nice. We're gonna do some hip kicks out to the side now. Let's go with the salsa music. Care for your spine. Try and keep that tummy nice and tight. She's just going from side to side, just warming up. Good. That's it. Keep it going. Knee rackers. Alright, thanks for watching. Right, as you can see the first one. I hope this is the right one, actually. Yep, good. <laughs> I had a, I had a brain, uh, brain error there, but I suddenly thought, I'll put the right slide up. Right, so the first exercise we're going to do is a Superman takeoff. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to lunge back with one dumbbell, lunge back, put fists on the ground, and then pop up. It's going to be a little bit of a plyometrics for people who don't want to do plyometrics. You can just come up and down, up and down. Right, and then halfway through, we will swap. So reverse lunge into the other one, hand down, and try and pop up. Are you ready in 10 seconds? This is more of a freak out Friday one, isn't it really? May you use it, Three, may not. Two, Are you ready? One. I'm going to bike, down one. and up. Try and keep that back nice and straight. So you're not putting any strain on it. Tummy tight. Any pain in the knees, just go to up and down. It's only a little hop. And swap sides. This is where I'm definitely not Henry Cavill. So you can launch off your front foot. Five, three, two, two, two one. one. Change. Brilliant, right, calf raises. It's not much extra weight, but what we're gonna do is just gonna lift up on our heels, sorry, on our toes, and down again. Heavier weight you've got, the better it is for the three, calf raises. Two, one. Exercise and up. Point two. And down. Nice and easy. Especially after that one, if you were jumping with me, get your breath. Ah, that's it, good. The reason why I keep going up and down is hopefully it stops you from getting cramped under your feet. Now, if you wanted a full calf workout, having like a plank or something to stand on. Three, and then you can actually two, put your heels one, down, which change. is better on your calves. Right, we're just going to go to ordinary, uh, keep the dumbbells, we'll just go to ordinary bodyweight squats. Well, bodyweight-ish. So sit your bottom back, feet shoulder width apart, and up. Put your hands out a little three, bit, just to balance two, yourself. One, and let's go. One point three. That's it. Only go down to 90 degrees. If you can't go down to 90 degrees, doesn't matter. Just do what you can. <coughs> I'm finding it a bit hard to catch my breath at the moment. I'm a very bit chested this morning. Started yesterday. Three. I'll be just as cold. It should be fine. Change. Right. We're doing front to lateral raises, so front, lateral, so lateral means side, front, and down. So you're not leaning back. Three, two, one. Exercise one point four. That's it. If you feel as though you're leaning back, tighten your tummy a little bit and just try and lean a little bit forward, only about a centimetre. So if you're leaning back like that, tighten your tummy and just bring your shoulders slightly forward. Especially when you're forward like that, you'll want to try and counteract the gravity, but you can actually hold quite a lot of weight without bending backwards. 
Five seconds. Three, Three two, one. two, one. Change. Oh, I should have to put the heating back on. <laughs> Well, when doing this, like I say. Right, we're going to do dumbbell punches. Old favourite. Keep the heart rate going. Three, <coughs> two, one. Ah, let's go. Exercise one point five. So get down into a slight squat position. I tend to stick my bottom. I always say stick your bottom mic, but that was the best way of doing it. You can stand a little bit upright if you want, but that can actually put pressure on your bike at least this way when you get down your abs will automatically start activating could you uh, IAP or internal abdominal pressure ten seconds three, three two, two one brilliant change. we're gonna keep the dumbbells a very dumbbell heavy workout today. What we're going to do is again, stay your bottom bike, tummy tight, we bend over. What we're going to do is we're going to go out to the side. If you want to keep your shoulder blades back, twist your hands out so your thumbs go up. Three, two, and that will really one. get your hands, Exercise your shoulder blades back. But you might not be able to get your, your hands up as far. Uh, if you try and get those shoulder blades to really nicely pinch, as Eleanor said on Friday, it's like trying to pinch a grape. She's picking up my uh, my sayings and not realizing. Good girl. She could do a lot better, a lot worse. Ten seconds. It's almost like a very strange Titanic. So try not to go backwards. It's nice and sideways. Excellent. Right, last one. We're going to do axis three, so it's bicep curl, press, and extend. So sideways, uh, bicep curl, extend. Sorry, press, extend. Curl, press. Three. Extend. Two. One. Exercise. I tend to bicep one, curl seven. together, push them up, and they go together. I find it stabilizes my arms a lot easier. And actually just going like that because one might lag behind so at least you're actually dragging them both up at the same time but again with a lot of things unless it's going to cause a lot of damage or hurt it's always personal preference try and miss your nose as well when you go up got three seconds to Two. water break one Water break. And water break time. Brilliant. Gosh. It's either the, the radiators are fully off or fully on. Wonderful. As I said, technology. Brilliant. Only good for certain things. Like these. the water drinking side from earlier on I would advocate drinking slowly I tend to squirt it in my mouth until it feels as though my tongue is getting drowned then I swallow don't try and just guzzle and guzzle and guzzle and guzzle and guzzle and guzzle because you can actually drown yourself or what you do is you actually drown your internal organs liver and kidneys and that's never very good right 30 seconds with the start with Superman takeoff this time we're going to do it without the weight for the first for the first exercise. I'm going to start on my bad side, so I'm going to get back into the lunge position and get ready. It doesn't have to be a great big lunge, only a small one. Just make sure you, your back's upright when you lunge back. Because then when you go down, you bet you hinge at the hips. Three, you go down. Two, you can only go down to your knee. One. That's fine. Exercise two point. Ah, let's go. So you can put your hand on your thigh as well and just turn it slightly forward. What you can do is you can actually help yourself, propel yourself up a little bit by pushing on your kneecap, oh well, just behind it. And let's change sides. Ten 
10 seconds. Wow, how do I actually propel myself like that? <laughs> I'm looking like a very strange thing. One, well, change. I let's change. No change there, then, is there really? I'm a very strange thing. So, these carburetors are really good if you have bikes which are equal on either side. You can just pick them up and then do it that way, do the carburetors that Three, way. Three, two, one, exercise 2.2. And up, two. then down. You can do, this is called plantar, uh, for, uh, ankle plantar. So what you're doing is you're actually planting your feet, your toes into the ground. So dorsi flexion is where your toes go up. So if you want to really work your calves, you can rock back slightly on your heels, bringing your toes up. Got to be careful though, because as you can see, I'm tending to bend at the waist, and you just put a little bit of pressure on the back. Three, two, one, change. Excellent, good. So we do squats. We'll do it without weights again. To do everything we weights do we? Body weights just good enough. Three, two, two one. one. And let's squat back. Three. So on Wednesday I think my talk might be about uh, sport specific or trying to reach that goal or aiming for what you want to do anyway. See, very nice self-capsulated title that isn't it excellent 10 seconds left five four three, three two, two one one change brilliant right front raise to la front to lateral raises I was talking to a client about this yesterday. We were doing step exercise and I suddenly went, we did six minutes. <laughs> Felt like 30 seconds. Three, two, I love it when that happens. One. Exercise two point Up, four. Side, down, side, front, down. Try and keep those shoulder blades down at all times. So you're not hunching up like that. If you're something like me, you can look at the monitor. So I'm just going to look at the monitor now. You can see where you might have slight misalignment of the shoulders. So if you go out and like that and you're like that, you know that this is either overactive or Three, two, it's actually stronger. Change. Dumbbell punches. Alright, what we'll do is we'll do dumbbell punches when I say uppercut, we'll go to uppercuts and then we'll go back to normal when I say normal. Okay? Three, two, two one. one, and let's go. No one wants. Getting ready for changing. And uppercuts. Oh, we can even do it to the beat on this. Ah, no. That was a bit of a really bad transition for me then. It was like a. Ah, ah, ah. And uppercuts. Get that little swing. Go on. Gives you a bit more power. Get the old elbows Three, back. Two, one, change. Brilliant. Ah, let's change. So we're going to go to reverse, bent over and reverse flies. I've written it backwards on my notes. Don't ask me, it's my brain, it just, the dyslexia kind of says, well, do it this way, it's a bit more interesting. Three, right, two, bottom bike. One. Exercise two. Uh, let's go. Okay, shoulder blades down. Try and feel that pinch. If you've got someone else in the room, tell them to put a cucumber on your back, see if you can pinch it. If it shoots off, <laughs> that's good. If you shoot off, it means you're trying to pinch too much. So your back should be nice and straight like that. You don't have to be fully over. 
Damn it, she's always so rude. Three, two, two one, one. Axis three. Change. The second time. Maybe I put the heating up because I actually missed the sweltering heat we had the other day. I think that must be it. Three. Alright, ready, two, remember it. One. Curl. Exercise press. 2.7. Extend. Let's get going. Curl. Press. Extend. Do it at your own pace. Don't try to do it too fast. These are light dumbbells, so they're not exactly going to tax you that much, but it's going to keep your heart working. And you can do this with high blood pressure as well because you're not keeping your hands too high above your head. Oh, yes, one other thing about water, which I should have actually stated, is uh, dehydration can lead to low blood pressure, which means Three, dizziness two, and vomiting. Water break. Excellent, and water break. So, one of the underlying conditions of uh, exercise induced nausea or dizziness can be uh, dehydration or lack of water. So I would always drink at least 250 millilitres to basically a mug of water before uh, an exercise session, a good 10, 15 minutes beforehand. It gets your body, gets into your body because it actually is absorbed in the lower intestine. And it's easy, absorbed even more if you put a slight bit of salt with it. Just, I mean a slight bit, a few grains, that's all you need. One of these and it'll absorb more water into your body and actually will help you, it won't, it won't hinder you whatsoever. But I would prefer not table salt because you want the ones with extra minerals. Yes, yeah, so, uh, <coughs> uh, nausea and lightheadedness can be uh, attributed to dehydration. Water also thins down the blood so it actually flows faster. So if you've got high blood pressure, keep hydrated and it'll lower your blood pressure slightly, especially when you're exercising. Okay? So thinner the better. It doesn't thin out your platelets. What it does is it just incre Three, increases the viscosity. Sorry, the uh, oh right, Superman takeoff. <clears throat> it just increases the uh, the fluidness of your plasma. The fluidness. There you go, technical term now. No, it's not. Three seconds of changing. Two, one, and change. How are your thighs? This is a good one for working your thighs, definitely. Five seconds. Last time round. Thank goodness. Three, two, two one. one. Change. Right, calf raises. Since we're doing squats without the weights, we'll do this without the weights as well. If you want to do the block bike, you can do. I'm not going to force you. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Oh, up on That's a water burp, sorry. If you really do want to work your calves, you can do it one legged by just putting two fingers on something just to stabilise you. Not to take the strength. I'll do five on that leg. I'll do five on that leg. So, if you want to do body weight uh, calf raises and you want to work on your calves, being able to propel you up the stairs, that's in, or moving forward, one. working on your calves is a great thing to do. Right, body weight squats in 15 seconds. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> as I said, a bit of congestion at the moment. <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, three, two, cuffs. One. Right. It's and we'll go to body weight squats. Three. So yeah, so uh, using your single leg will actually be able to propel you more. But make sure that you do the weakest leg first. So whichever leg you want to do first, do that last. So if I went to my right leg, I'd do my left leg first. 
and then do the same number of repetitions on each leg. Same weight. Some people think, oh, this, this part's weaker. I'll stop now. No, that's why you do that one first. Try and equalize the balance of the muscles. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Back Change. to the weights. Ten seconds. Front to lateral raises. Three, two, two one. one. And Exercise front three point to four. side and down. Side to front and down. As you can see, I'm only going to shoulder height. I'm not going any higher. Don't really do anything. The most that your shoulder will exercise is actually round about this region here, from there to there. So anything more than that, you're actually bringing other muscles in, unless you're actually really pre pressing up, but you are actually then you, you're still using Three, your triceps two, to one, press up and over. <clears throat> right, so we're gonna do dumbbell punches. We'll start off with uppercuts first. when someone to say, Dad, Dad, three, it's raining in my bedroom. Two, one. Right, Exercise three, four, up a cut. Five. 30 seconds left, and swap to no punches. Good. I'm doing a bit faster to keep in time with the music. Get your card up a real lot doing this. And up a cut for the last 10 seconds. Almost Three, done. Two, one. one. Two, Brilliant. Two. Reverse, uh, bent over reverse flies. See, I wrote reverse flies bent over. Yeah, the brain works backwards sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Always. Right, bottom back. Three, like gorilla. Every time I do this, I feel like a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Exercise three, four, and some six. people say, yes you are. So remember, try and keep those arms nice and straight, out. Try not to go backwards, as you can feel. Right, let's, let's do that. Let's go side, backwards. Can you feel the difference? Because when you go backwards, your lats and your traps could take over as well. Let's go back to the side ones. So if you've got overactive shoulders, going backwards, you can actually feel it really contracting there in your traps. Two, That's one, what you don't want. Change. Right, axis three. So we've got curl, press, extend. Ooh. Made some nice soup yesterday, three, I got that for lunch. Two, one. All mid soup. Exercise 3.7. Excellent. Curl, press, extend. That's it, get it going. So remember, try not to lean back. Try to keep a nice straight back. You, well, when you stood up straight, your spine is not straight, it acts serpentines. But we call it straight back. Now if you hyper extend, which means going backwards, you will feel pressure on the lower back. We don't want that. Three, two, one, water break. A good test for, uh, for that, see if you're actually prone to it, is in your fist, putting it over your back. If you look, my spine goes up that way. Okay, my elbow slightly goes in front, but I put my head forward to get my arm up. All right? Some people arch back to get the arm up. So you, you will then feel a slight bit of pressure on your uh, lower back. So if you do feel that, then you are more prone to leaning back than actually, uh, than actually staying upright. 
so you can actually, if you know that, then you can actually try and combat doing it yourself. Right, so, core. I've written it down, thank goodness. Right, so standing exercise, bicep crunches. So I'm going to do the standing ones first. Penguin crunches, sideways. When you're standing up, okay, reverse penguin crunch when you sit your bottom back and you go like that. You will be able to feel it there. You don't have to touch anything that way. It's all right, it doesn't matter, Jan. It's fine. Just glad you could come. So everyone else, down the floor, I'm going to do 20 of each. So, bicycle crunch, shoulders off the floor, one knee to one elbow. Okay? Three, two, one. And let's go, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nineteen, twenty. Notice I've got my hands behind my ears, not my head, I'm not pulling my, my chin, chin tight into my chest. I've got like a an orange underneath there. Just imagine that. Right, so we're gonna bring our feet up, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, look up to the ceiling, bring your shoulders off the floor, arms out to 45 degree, and we're gonna tap those heels. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and what we'll do is we uh, pretend that we're actually got a stick right through our tummy. So we're actually trying to wiggle out of it. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, for people who have got, unfortunately, uh, if this is painful to you, or oh, big chest, I would do the standing up version. But we're going to lie down on the front, lift out, shoulders up, and then go back to touch the thighs. Or if you don't want to stand up, you can you can do it this way, or bend over slightly. Just be careful, you need to really get your stomach tight if you're actually going to be bending over. Right, are you ready? Up, and one, two, three, Four, five, six, this floor needs them off. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Brilliant, right. Quick breather whilst we turn over. And get back to the original and then do it all over again. This time we'll have less of a break in between. Can't show you all perfect a bit. <clears throat> right. Arms up by your ears. Knees up. Are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So feet down, arms up, shoulders up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Brilliant. I'm just going to roll over this way. Are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Brilliant, right, we'll just flip all onto our back. Then we do our stretching. <sighs> right, it says two minutes still left on the clock for the core. I think we'll stretch. I think we've done enough. Those Superman ones really took it out of us, I'm sure of it. So straight leg up, try not to bend your leg. If you bend your leg, let it back and then bring it up again. Okay, try and keep it nice and straight to uncomfortableness, not to pain. Two, 
one, point that toe to your face. So you're pulling on the back of your calf now. You will want to bend your legs like this to try and keep it straight. You might need to let it go down a little bit. Two, one, point to the ceiling. Don't crunch your toes up, otherwise you might get uh, cramp. That's what I was looking for. So as you're stretching the front of your shin, the tip of your anterior. And now let's bring it down to our chest, knee into the chest, heel into your glutes. If you had really good hamstrings, you could do this with a straight leg. But I don't think any of us dancers anymore. Or at least dancers that we would like to be like. legs, so hamstring straight, nicely straight. Anything, anyone, if anyone's like me, when you put your hands behind you into this, then you're slightly slick with sweat. So it's, it's, it's kind of, you have to keep reaffirming your grip. Bend that toe to your face, bend that toe to your face, point that toe to your face. Oh. Apparently when they cool down now. So point to the ceiling, point your toes to the ceiling. Remember, don't curl those toes over. Two, one, bring it into your chest again. Try to bring it in nice and tight. Some people might not feel the stretch over your glutes, but you are. You're actually stretching the hamstrings over the glutes. And also you're stretching the thigh as well. So that's a good stretch. Two, one, and down. Right, so we're gonna sit up now. Actually, we're gonna stand up, sorry. <clears throat> nice and easy, nice and slowly so you don't get lightheaded. We're going to stretch forward, slightly around the other shoulders there. One of the only times we'll probably ever do it is to really stretch that back. Because you should be able to feel it from there upwards. Let's elevate those arms up, really stretch back, just feel it down the front. And if you stretch up to the roof, you can feel your back stretch a bit more. Three, two, one, and release. And thank you very much all for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I feel ready for the day. I hope you do as well. And I hope you all have uh, lots of fun. Uh, try and not get blown away or too wet today. Uh, be safe, be healthy, and I'll see you all on Wednesday at half past nine. Thanks all, everyone. See you later. Take care. Bye for now.